Welcome, welcome, welcome back to this week's cast of Revelation on the Word. I'm Pastor Rico Clayton. I'm with Greater Revelation Church. We're located at 4473 Adams on Kansas City, Kansas City. I want to say what's up to everybody. I'm at my favorite spot, the golf course. This is where I kind of times I go to parks, places like this where I meet and talk with God. But man, I'm going to get right to it, man. I got to talk to y'all about some stuff. Welcome in. I want to thank everybody that sends it out on Facebook, social sites, Periscope, all the places, YouTube, those that are visiting it. Thank you and welcome you in. I greet you always in the name of Jesus. Man, good things is happening. You boys doing well. Y'all hear me? Check this out. I want to talk to y'all about one thing as I'm walking and talking to you today. It's going to come a time where you're going to need a miracle. And your money ain't going to be able to reach it. See, there's some places your money can't reach. Now, the world is sexy and it's appealing, man. This is why we're having such a tough time getting the kids in the church. The world's sexy. You got Migos, you got Cardi B and all the people that look as if that world is offering something really good. And we need money. And unfortunately, the church has preached prosperity for a decade and a half and turned everybody off. So now nobody wants to help the church. Now, the church does need money, but that can't be the focus. The focus has to be the power of God, putting the power of God back in the church. You know what I'm saying? But the world appeals to be very good looking and sexy. And the church, unfortunately, has turned into the ugly girl in the club that nobody wants to dance with. And unfortunately, we got to do a better job, saints, of putting power back in the church. Because that's what's going to draw them. Let me give you some revelation on the word. The Bible declares in Acts chapter 3, verse 6, it's Peter... And John were coming into the gate. There was a man, he was laying there, he was impotent, he was sick. And he was doing exactly what I see to ha seem to be happening in most of the churches, and a lot of pastors agree with me. The people who come to the church in need and beg the church. But the church itself can't sustain them financially. But Peter says something very bold to the man. He says, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Notice I said Jesus Christ. Take up your bed and walk. So there's going to come a time, and I mean this, that the miracles are going to start maximizing. And the folk are going to come back in the church because that's what they're going to need. Because they're going to find out that their money can't reach that place. Talk to a rich man that has a child that has autism. He'd give away his millions to make sure that his child was healthy. Because there's some places that your money just ain't going to be able to reach. I'm preaching real preaching, amen. And I want to thank God for that, for putting a word in my mouth. Y'all stay tuned because good things are happening in the church. And I really, really believe God is putting the power back in the church. Y'all come holler at me. 44, 73 Adams. We start about 1045, really start about 11. You know, we got people that are a little late sometimes. But y'all come see what God is doing and get your strength. And who knows? There may be a miracle in the room for you. And I mean that in the name of Jesus. I'll see y'all next week. That's all I got for you. Bye for now.